Bergentown and Dungoyne under 15s met in the NIBFA Cup at the Lurgentown Arena. Both teams in their familiar colours. That's Lurgentown in the yellow and Dungoyne in the blue. Dungoyne started the game like a house on fire and had plenty of possession. They really did start the game well. Number 10, Josh Williamson with this strike from the edge of the box. Again, Dungoyne had another shooting opportunity. It was their number 10 again, Josh Williamson, who had a strike at goal. This time it was straight at the Lurgan Town goalkeeper, Mark McCann, who was beginning to become a busy man. Good build-up play down the left side for Dungoyne, allowed a shooting opportunity for Charlie Downey. And again, it was one-way traffic in the early stages of this game. With almost 20 minutes on the clock, Dungoyne attacked down the left side. They combined down that side very well. And this strike from Joshua Ritchie was another effort. Good play down the right side for Dungoyne. Allowed another shooting opportunity for Joshua Ritchie. From the left side of the pitch, Dungoyne swung a corner into the box. This header from number five, Adam Bankhead, just went wide of the post. Still the early pressure was from Dungoyne. A lovely pass from Charlie Downey set up a chance for Jake Fitzgerald. Against the run of play, Lurgentown were then awarded a penalty when a fantastic run from Adam McCann drew a foul from the Dungoyne goalkeeper. Up step, Lurgentown's number four, their captain, Jimmy Trainer, to fire Lurgentown into a 1 0 lead. It didn't take Dungoyne long to respond. In fact, only one minute they responded when their number nine, Justin Campbell, scored from close range after great work down the right wing from Jake Fitzgerald. 1 1. With the half coming to its close, Dungoyne finished it on top, and this decent strike from Josh Williamson tested the Lurgan Town goalkeeper Mark McCann, who got down well to save. So there we have the referee's half-time whistle. The half-time score from the Lurgan Town Arena was 1-1. Both teams still well and truly in the cup. Into the second half we go, and Dungoyne started it strongly. This looping shot from Josh Williamson just went wide off the left post. In the early stages of the second half, Dungoyne started it strongly. Holly O'Hara set up a long-range shooting opportunity for Charlie Downey. Dungoyne then scored their second goal of the game when their number 16 Carter Campbell showed his class inside the area with this lovely dink finish. 2-1 now the scoreline. Dungoyne were attacking down the left side and good play from number 9 Justin Campbell and number 11 Joshua Ritchie allowed a shooting opportunity for Kyle Murphy. Midway through the second half, the Dundonald side, Dungoyne, were then awarded a penalty. Their number 16, Carter Campbell, was fouled inside the area by the Lurgentown goalkeeper. Up step, the number 16, Carter Campbell, to keep his composure and fire his penalty into the right side of the net. 3-1 the scoreline now. Dungoyne continued to attack. This time it was number 5, Adam Bankhead, who had a shot which just went narrowly over the crossbar. With roughly 10 minutes left in the cup tie, Lurgan Town were hungry to try and get on the score sheet. This decent effort from Noah Davison forced the Dungoyne goalkeeper, Alex Conway, into making the save. Down at the other end, Dungoyne had another effort, this time their number four, Charlie Downey, showing good feet work inside the area. Lurgan Town attacked down the right side and it was their number 11 again, Noah Davison, who showed 
good feet work on the edge of the box. His curling shot produced a save from Alex Conway, who parried the ball away. And there we have the referee's full-time whistle, Dungoyne winning this game by three goals to one, and it will be Dungoyne who will progress into the next round of the Cup. David, Cup uh, game this morning here, your side beat 3-1. Uh, what do you take from it? Uh, well, with a lot of positives to take from it, in terms of when you were going to be up against it, playing Dungoyne, established National League team, you know, ourselves, we've recently moved from Lisbon League in the Mid-Ulster, and it's been a welcome test. To, if I'm honest, you know, we've been playing well in the league on the first round of the of, of this competition. You know, we've got a South Belfast team on, on we've done well again them obviously, you know, comfortably into the second round. But we knew this was gonna be a tough test and you can see yourself, you know, don't go in quality, moved the ball very well. We had to be disciplined. We had our chances, you know, we went one up obviously and then we caught sleeping, let them back in. But you know, they are a good side, you don't want to think the results fair at the end. You're under the pump, uh, your side actually took the lead. Uh, how pleasing was that? Well, it was very pleasing because when your back's again the wall, on, you have a bit of quality like Adam McCann up top, get the ball to him, you see, you see yourself what he could do, you know, he's, he just runs straight through them and took out by the keeper, a bit of a dubious one I thought, possibly could have been a red card, but Raf explained it to me, you know, and, and you know, fair play to that there, but uh, it was good, it was nice. We just lost our way a wee bit then, and, and the counter attack straight away, and brilliant, uh, brilliant cross into the box for a tap in for the equaliser. And finally, how's the season going for yourselves? Season's going well. We're unbeaten. Um, seven games in, I think. Um, seven or eight games in, but we've three one game, won the rest, so we're going well. Um, comfortable. That's what I say. It was a welcome change from the from the league, you know, and on the a welcome test and much needed. So yeah, thank thankfully. Paul, 3-1 uh, cup win here this morning away from home. You must be delighted. Yeah, really pleased. Um, the only disappointing thing today was we should have scored a lot more goals. I thought we dominated the, the possession in the game. Um, Lurgan worked really hard and you know to try and frustrate us at times, but I thought we dominated the, the ball and just the only thing was we were a bit wasteful in front of the goal. Your side went 1-0 down and before uh, Lurgan Town scored, you, your side probably should have been ahead. How frustrating was it to concede? Yeah, that, that was frustrating and that, that's cup football and you know, I'd said to the, the other coaches in the line there, you know, we're not taking our chances here. And they had a bit of a threat on the breakaway with a big number 16. He was, he was very, he was a handful and he, he had a bit of pace about him. And, you know, they, they managed to break away and they won the penalty and got themselves ahead. But credit to our boys, they bounced back right straight away with, a, you know, the equalising goal. And then I think from there on, you know, we, we sort of stamped our authority in the game and then, you know, got the goals when we needed them. What pleased you most about the win? Yeah, it's just as I say, cup football. It's you just it's just about getting into the next round of the of of, of the cup, and so that's pleasing for us. Um, I thought we played some nice football at times. We got it down and played and tried to play the right way. And as I say, the only frustrating thing for me as a coach is that we were wasteful in front of goal. So I know what we'll be working on in training next week. And you fancy a good rattle at the cup, do you? Yeah, you know we we, we played a, at a good standard in, in national league, which is fantastic for a, a club like Dungoyne. And you know our league, our league is very tough and competitive, so the cup gives you a welcome break from the league, and you get to come up against teams like today, like Lurgan Town, who we wouldn't normally meet in in our league uh, campaign. So you know the cup is a welcome distraction from our own league, and you know we'll be looking to go as far as we can. Mm -hmm.